What's up, Slam Dancers? We are hanging out with Chris Dudley of Underworld today. One of the coolest keyboardists in the metalcore scene. All right. That is for sure, man. So you guys are on the No Fix Tour right now with Dance Gavin Dance, Veil of Maya, Limbs, and... And that's it. And that's it, dude. Yes. How has tour been going for you guys so far? It's been awesome. Like, every show has been... Uh pretty ridiculous like it, it literally there's been not one that hasn't been really really good um having a lot of fun we haven't we'd never uh toured with dance gavin dance or veil of maya before this tour so uh just being able to hang out with them and get to know them a good bit has been awesome dude that's awesome to hear man so under oath man you guys just released a new album back in april yes. erase me man how has how has the career been since the release of the new album it's been awesome. Um, it, I mean, again, like literally nothing negative. Like it debuted at number four album sold, which is like crazy. And the response live to the new songs has been really, really good. Um, and they're a lot of fun to play. And it's been, yeah, it's been crazy. What's your favorite new song to play on the tour? Uh, a song called No Frame. Uh, we've been playing that every night and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Now, what is your favorite overall song to play while you're on set? That would, it would probably be the same one. Same yeah, one? Yeah, because I think there's something to be said about playing new songs. They, they always tend to be more fun just because we haven't played them as many times. Of course. And uh, that one is ex extremely fun. Hey, well, that's cool yeah. to hear, man. Well, you being a musician, you pull influence from when you first start learning your instrument. Can you think about when you first started learning keyboards and who some of your biggest musical influences were when learning how to do so? Um, I guess when I first got started, um, I, I was really drawn toward bands that used electronics in a cool way, like, you know, like Nine Inch Nails or... Radiohead, um, but also back then when I first got started, I was really into like European black metal stuff. Like there's a band called Nightwish, I really like their keyboard player. Um, and yeah, uh, I they didn't have a keyboard player per se, but the electronic stuff that Orgy did, I, I really took inspiration from that when I first got started. And yeah, just all around good electronics. I I like. Hey, that's awesome to hear, man. Now, going back to the new album, man, what do you feel is the number one song on the album that you guys put most emotion into as a band? Emotion? Um, man, I don't know. Um, I would say off the top of my head, probably Bloodlust, a song called Bloodlust. Um, because that song was, uh, Spencer's been talking about it on this tour, but, um, that was written in like a pretty dark period for Spencer and Aaron both. Um, uh, you know, Spencer's pretty open about the fact that when he was writing the lyrics for that song, like he was thinking about killing himself. Um, so it's pretty heavy in that in that regard. So there's you know there's a lot of emotion in that song in particular. Man, that's awesome to hear, man. But um, okay, so you guys released two music videos for the new album. Rapture and under under my teeth, right? On my teeth. Close on my enough. teeth. My bad. My bad. It's, it's all the same. <laughs> yeah. So, which is your favorite video between the two? Which one was a little bit cooler than the other one? Um, I I will say I liked all the stuff with uh, the dancers in the Rapture video. I like that a lot. But I will say I probably like the on my teeth video more uh, as a whole. If I had to say. Hey, that's cool to hear, man. Now, going back in time a little bit to 2006, you and the Devil, Underworld and the Devil Wears Prada were two of the kings of this MySpace, Metalcore, Christian, <laughs> Screamo world, man. Now, going back to Devil Wears Prada, you and James Bainey have a very similar style of playing, in a way. How, would you, now, can you think of your favorite The Devil Wears Prada album? Um, I think that zombie EP zombie that they did, AP. yeah, that thing was that thing was really cool. Um, I like those guys a lot. Like, I, I love the guys. We toured with them a good bit, and really, really good dudes. I like them a lot. Hey, man, yeah. that's what's up, man. They're also they were also Warp Tour kings. And war speaking of Warp Tour, it's this year's final Warp Tour. And you guys are actually playing a couple dates, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys playing at on the Warp Tour? I don't know. We're I know we're playing like three days. Um. I don't know uh, where it is though. I should probably figure that out. <laughs> it's on the internet. If you it's go on, on if internet. you go on Google, it'll be there. Hey, that's yeah. what matters, man. You guys are playing a lot of the big rock festivals as well, yeah. correct? Yeah. Have, 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 what are some of the recent ones you have just recently played? 
We did um, Welcome to Rockville in Jacksonville, Florida. We did Fort Rock. We did Las Regis in Vegas. We did uh, another one we just did. I forget the name of it, uh, but Alice and James was headlining it. Um, that was really cool. And then we're doing one in a couple days. We're doing Rock on the Range in Columbus. Um, That's always a cool festival. Yeah, man. it'll That's be like really literally cool. the biggest rock festival of our country, I believe. Yeah, it's, man. It's, it'll be pretty awesome. I know uh, Perfect Circle's going to be there and Alice and Chains. And, be, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Now, what kind of shows do you prefer? Do you prefer the festival shows or the small club shows like what we're doing tonight? Um, I think it depends. Uh, it, it, I, I can't really say I prefer one or the other. As far as playing them, I think that there's something that you can get from each that you can't get with the other. Like, I think that when you when you play like a big festival date, um, there's like a there's like a scale to it because there's just like so many people. And like you, if you have like ten thousand people like all singing the same thing, like there's something that comes from that that you can't get in a small club. But on the flip side, um, if you're in a small club, there's that like really like tight energy that like you can't replicate in a in a big room. So I, I can't say I prefer one or the other. It's the, you know they both have their their pluses and minuses. Of it course. sounds like a very like diplomatic answer, but it it's the true one. So yeah. All right, man. Well, hey, we're, we're running out of time here. We'll finish this interview out with one last question for you, man. Uh, bring Me the Horizon or Asking Alexandria? Um, I'll say Bring Me the Horizon because we've toured with them, and I like the guys a lot. Yeah, you yeah. toured with them uh, last October, correct? Yeah, they, last, you, last year or something. Last year, yeah. yeah. Um, well, what was the name of that tour, actually? That was called the American Nightmare, Nightmare. Tour. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you have any uh, memories of hanging out with Bring Me the Horizon on that tour? Lots. Yeah, could there, there you was... tell us one exclusive fun memory from the tour? Oh man, um, I, there's just there's so much. Um, there was a night where they came on our bus and uh, we the the whole the whole night got really rowdy and it was super loud and very uh, nobody was able to sleep because it was ridiculously loud. Lots of music. Lots of uh, lots of hanging, lots of head banging in the front lounge. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. All right, man. Well, that's all from Kiss, Chris Dudley of Under Oath. Be sure to check out Under Oath's new album, Erase Me, which is released under Fearless Records. And that's all we have. Is there anything else you'd like to promote to the viewers? Uh, no. Oh. I don't think so. All right, it looks like we covered it. And that is all we have, and we are out. Woo!